So now let's go back to uh, the example of uh, Electra throwing the ball and Jimmy catching it. So we can just do exactly what we saw before, um, which is we can go into dynamic motion and it'll give us this uh, asking us what to do. I'm just gonna reset it so we could start from scratch again. And <clears throat> what we can do from here is when we do it, we can do the exact same thing. We can decide the center of mass, which we're gonna hit H for. We're gonna set when it's released. So we're gonna release it at, let's release it a couple frames early. Let's do 58. And then we're gonna catch it at um, 88 for uh, Jimmy to do that. And so now when we uh, look at our dynamic motion, now we could see this is our hitting the mark. Again, just uh, the basic of it leaving it a frame and catching it at a frame. And so we could go in there and we could start adjusting this curve. Um, but if we want to adjust the height on this, like we did with the uh, previous example of jumping on the table, we can start changing that as well. So if we open up G and we bring this dynamic motion in and we can go from basic to advanced and we can uh, do another, move it on to another layer. And because we have this here, we are going to use the uh, basketball, but we're also going to adjust the Jimmy rig here. Um, so what we're going to do is uh, select both of those base rigs and hit accept. And so now we could do the exact same thing that we did before um, with turning on the dynamic motion. And now we could see the handles on here. So if we wanted to adjust it so that we wanted to bring this down and have it more of a line drive, it will adjust uh, Jimmy's animation at the exact same time. So as we start moving this down, where he was grabbing it at uh, frame 88 before, now what we'll see is that it still all lines up, but he's now picking it up at, uh, at 68. That's where it's gonna happen. So if we use Control G again, and we can just take a look at the dynamic motion settings and we go to our baking, we can leave keep existing keys on and bake essential keys. And with our dynamic motion on, when we bake these keys out. Now what this will do is if we go back out to animate and we take off our dynamic motion uh, path, now we can have this ball and we have the new keys on there. So it's going in there and Jimmy has now been shifted. So all of Jimmy's keys, uh, if we look at it, are now uh, over here. So we've retimed it all. And then from in here, we can then go in and if we take a look at the um, example that we have right here that we that I did before, we can take a look at some of our, um, I have some animation layers in here. So we could take it so that we uh, constrain the ball to the hand, we could start doing that. And then we can even do something where um, if we take a look at Jimmy here, um, we can go in. <clears throat> And we can see that the ball's going through the ground on this. We turn this off. We can see that I've just done a layer, just added a little layer, just kind of rotating it up. So what I've done with Jimmy um, is I could grab the ball and uh, Jimmy at the same time. So if we grab the ball here, so I can grab the ball and we can have Jimmy here and um, we could start moving it uh, up and down and around and we can set up another um, selection set here if we wanted to so that we can grab everything together and we can uh, just grab it using our uh, global movement and move everything together. So that's a simple way of taking a look at what we had before of being able to take our animation and try using dynamics with a couple different ways. So you can make it a line drive throw in there where he catches it and adjusting all the keys or we can go on to the one where it was just using hitting the mark and throwing it up high in the air and Jimmy catching it on the original animation.